Hello educators, this is your instructional designer Troy and today we're going to be taking a look at adding exemptions to due dates and attempts in Blackboard. Coming up. To get started, I'm looking at a sandbox course with an example assignment. This assignment has a due date of the 26th of this month and it also has a release condition set for the 21st of this month. I want to make sure that you guys understand that this exception to the attempts or to the due date will can also affect the release conditions. I can make it to where the student can get this earlier. Maybe it's hidden before the other students. So just know that if you have a due date or release conditions on an assignment, you're still able to make those exceptions to the rules. So now I want to move into that example assignment. I can see that I have it set on the 26th. It's under the assignment category. The grade is 100 points. I have two attempts available. And if a student asked me to give them an extension or change or make an exception to these settings, I can simply go to the actual submissions of the assignment. I can find the student, in this case it's my preview user. Uh, I can see that it's late. Both of these people uh, earned a zero, the automatic zero. But I want to move this due date for this individual. Maybe they asked me to extend the due date because they were out of town, uh, maybe with their athlete group on campus here. So maybe I want to make this uh, assignment due for them by the 30th at midnight. So I can go ahead and do that. They still have the same attempts down here. And we can also change the release conditions. When do they actually see it? When is it hidden? But for right now, I'm going to move just the due date a couple days ahead and hit save. What you will see is the screen will refresh and it will now automatically ungrade that automatic zero because it is not past that due date yet. Now everyone else will have an automatic zero because it, their due date was on that 26th day. Uh, but here on the student writ list, we can see that we now have an icon of a clock that says, hey, this student has a new due date applied. And we can know that we made this an exception to the rule, right? Now, if I wanna go back to this and add or edit that exception, I can simply go back to that student. It will have the available time. Say I messed up, I can actually hit reset settings. This will take it back to the original due date for me. Now, we did look at the release conditions. It was set to show to the student on the 21st, and I want to make sure that this student has it early uh, because maybe they are going on a trip of some kind. They've asked me for that extension. I can now say show on and give them an exemption. And I'm going to say two days before it's actually open. Uh, it was set to open on the 21st. And now I want them to open up on the uh, 19th. And I can again go in here and change the time if I want this to be midnight i can go in and set that to midnight uh, on the 19th they still have the same due date they just have the ability to see this assignment earlier two days before any of the other students i can now hit save it is going to give that automatic zero because that is determined by the due date but they were able to attempt this and we can see the release conditions have been applied so now we're able to edit the release conditions of it versus the actual due date itself. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this content, be sure to like this video and leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. I'm gonna be building out more videos like this, specifically on Blackboard Ultra, helping you build the best course for your digital platform. Thanks for watching.